see what you're wearing. There's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring. Forgive me for breathing. We might not know why. We might not know how. But baby, tonight. Welcome back for another episode of Detective Pikachu. Last time finished up chapter 7 and now today going to start chapter 8. Where are girls? We stayed as quiet as we could in there, in the dark for quite a long time. Find out where R has been taken. A lone rata raised on a tropical island. Huh, it looks like a rata, but it is. But is it a different Pokemon? Rata. You're quiet. I guess you are a rata after all. It has a more seduced, subduced coloring than usual, and its body shape is a little different too. Rata. You're not sure. You got lost and ended up here after wandering around aimlessly. Rata. The food where you wore before was fresher, but you made a friend here, so it's the best. That's good, I guess. Rata. You don't know you were too busy talking to your friend here to pay attention? Rata. It's fun when you hang out together. Glad to hear you two get along. Hey, Rata, do you think you could tell us about this place? Rata. Rata. The bus is it's that good? Rata, Rata. Oh, I see. You got a lot of food and you have also made a good friend, huh? Huh, wait. Have we met you before? Rata. But you say they came through here. They headed up and that elevator we passed. We need to follow them. Yeah, let's hurry. The men with the large cases. Lapis. Elegant swimmer. We, um, chin out, relax, Taurus. Frillish.
Maybe someone saw the men carrying the container. Let's ask around on the deck. Let's ask this person. Hmm, yes? The service is fantastic, and the food here is also first class. I couldn't imagine using any other ship for traveling. So you've been on the ship a lot. Yes, I've been here and there. I still like Rhyme City, though. It's a nice city. I was there. Was there someone like that? I didn't know this. Girl, girl, there's a show at the pool, and you will be performing too, huh? When is it going to be? Girl, oh, tomorrow, huh? I don't think I would be able to watch. Well, good luck. Yes. This is my first time on the Prime Treasure. I plan to enjoy as much as I can. I don't think I saw anyone like that. I was too busy enjoying the view of the sky. Men with luggage. No, sir. I haven't seen them. That's very strange, though. We usually only allow freight to be moved around at night. When all our, of our customers have retired. Men with luggage. No, I haven't seen them. They haven't come by this way. Can I help you? I don't know. I haven't seen anyone like that come this way. Brion. You say I should take a swim too. Oh yeah, I imagine it's refreshing, but I'm pretty busy. Brion, you bet that it is because I can't swim. How rude. Brion. Everyone's just lying around here. Nobody seems to want to go for a swim. Adults are like that, you know. Chino. It's always super clean and fun to be here. Do you ride the ship often? Chino. You've been on it a lot of times. Even since you were a Manchino. Man, I'm jealous. Aren't you hot dressed like that? Men with luggage. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Frill. It's too big and confusing. You go, you get lost. Frill. You get so lost that he drinks, that the drinks would cool off by the time you get to where you're going. And that's why you don't serve any hot beverages. It's big enough that you get lost, even if you work here, huh? Yes, I saw them pass by. They were heading toward the lounge. The lounge. Yes, you see the two doors past the pillars there, right? Go through the one on the right and just go straight. Oh, thank you very much. Men with the luggage case. Well, men with luggage case number two. We need to go search of it. Let's head to the lounge. Hmm. The lounge is supposed to be straight ahead, right? What's up? 
Oh, I may have just seen those people. They went up the stairs behind me. Thank you very much. Right, let's head after them. Men with luggage case number three. Crew. Oh, you're in charge of serving the, serving the lounge, including the second floor alone. That sounds rough. Crew. It makes it more rewarding, huh? That's a good, that's a good attitude to have. Crock rock. Rough bouncers. Oh, what? Croc. We're not allowed to go. Oh, come on. Don't be so uptight. All we want to do is... Well, all we want is a peek in the room. Croc. Well, okay, we leave, but can we ask you a quick question? Did two guys carrying some luggage come through this way? Croc. They went inside, so then I must be past that door. Yeah. Croc. Croc. Get out of here. All right, all right. Come on, Tim. Let's get out of here for now. Right. It's the room guarded by Crock Rock. Well, we need to look spiffy if we want to get in. What do you mean? Crock, huh? Shut up and go away. Fine. Nine Tails has luxurious fur. Q. Q. It says the house it normally lives in is similar, but the ship has more space, so it likes it better here. How to get in? Hmm, did you need something? I come on board from time to time because Ninetales seems to enjoy so much space. They're searching for Keith. Right. Is there anything you want you want to know? The room at the back of the second floor. I didn't even notice it. Is that where they take an eye? Yes, but it's guarded by Krakowak and we can't get in. It's wonderful that you were able to find out where R was going, but the room was guarded. Let's see. Is this the Krakowak you mentioned? Yes, that's the that's exactly the Pokemon we saw. I didn't know you had a Pokedex in there. This is actually a collection of my own notes. I write down anything that might be useful. Whenever I get a chance to see one of the various Pokédex... Texas. Wait, you made all this by hand? Pretty impressive, Amelia. Let's see. And so I just say, electric-type moves won't have an effect on Krakow. Pikachu will be at a disadvantage in battle. Oh, well, that's too bad. But we might be able to find out a little bit about the room we be will be used for. There's the cruise newspaper. It has a schedule of all events that occur on the ship. Oh well, that might be helpful. Let 
to have a look. Let's see the event. And that room is the Prime Treasure Show. Well, that's an impressive name. What kind of show is that? The show. Mingo and I are working separately this time. I am in charge of uncovering the ship. I am mostly done, though. The only thing left is the interview. The interview with you. First, we will interview the famous chef, Mr. Gino Fernando. What, you mean the Gino Fernando? You know him, Pikachu? Of course I do. He's a re um chef. He has a restaurant in Rhyme City, too. But it's so popular you can't ever get a reservation. Apparently the friend of Mr. Graham's. That's why we've been able to get a special interview with him. So is Mr. Graham on board as well? Yes, he was kind enough to come with me. I wonder what kind of show it is. I don't know anything about it, sorry. No problem. Thanks to you, we know the name of the show now. I will ask around to see if anyone knows about it. Good luck. Once I finish the interview, I will try and find out what I can about the show. I would appreciate that. Are you sure you're done? We still got things to ask. This is one of the most luxury ships in the world, the SS Prime Treasure. I would never ha have expected them to use the ship for smuggling. Do you know where the ship is headed? I don't know, so I don't, sorry. This ship apparently travels all over the world. And destinations are decided by requests from the passengers. How did you get on board, Tim? We infiltrated the office of that factory and snuck into one of the containers they were shipping out. They carried us on board just like that. How could you do something so reckless? I'm glad you're safe anyway. I guess I'll see you around then. Once we, once we finish up with what we need to do, I will meet up here. Oh, and you should use this. It's an order sheet for drinks. If you, if you hand it to the frillers, they will bring what you order. I think it's best if the two of you take a break, even if it's just for a little bit. Thank you very much. Well, that's a life story. Once we're done gathering testimony, let's get some coffee then. Alright, let's find out about the show. Let's ask around about the show in this lounge. It seems to be a show that almost, that's almost a tradition on this ship. Customers complain of not getting seats, but I never heard anyone say they've seen it. What's up? I don't know anything about that. I'm really not interested in an event or anything. No one over here. Hello, did you need something? It must be quite the show, especially since it has the ship's name as part of the title. I would love to see you. Maybe I should ask my daughter. I just love traveling by ship. Oh, there is a show like that on this ship. I didn't know. Hey there, isn't this ship wonderful? It's the perfect place to spend time with my girlfriend. Oh yeah, it's that show. My girlfriend wanted to see it, so I tried to get tickets while I booked our reservation. Even then, we didn't manage to get seats. If anyone would be willing to be would be willing to part with their ticket, I would pay anything they ask. My boyfriend got tickets for me. It's my first cruise. I told my boyfriend I wanted to see it, but he couldn't get tickets. Somehow, knowing I can't see it makes me want to see it even more. I 
I don't think there's anyone here who's been to the Prime Treasure Shop. Let's go talk to people on the deck. We can leave through the ad, through exiting the facing camera. Okay. What are you panicking about? It's nothing to do with you. It's just me and Amelia. Okay. Yes, do you need me? The Prime Treasure Show. I didn't realize this ship had anything like that. Sorry, I don't know much about it, though. I'm not really interested in the events here. Definitely a flashy name, don't you think? I've seen the name mentioned in the ship's newspaper, but I don't know what kind of show it is. Yes. The Prime Treasure Show, huh? I didn't know they had a show like that. I would love to see it. Can I help you? I hear the tickets are completely sold out. We do have many other events planned on board the ship, so I might suggest enjoying these instead. Hmm. Can't say I heard of it. I'm not a big fan of shows, to be honest. Having to sit still and just watch it just isn't my thing. Okay. Can I help you? I hear it's a show you can only see on this ship. I admit I'm curious, but they say the tickets are impossible to, impossible to come by. I never really tried to get one. Alrighty. Can I help you? Oh, you mean that show? No, I don't know anything. So there isn't anyone here who saw the show either, huh? Yeah, it's almost weird that nobody is able to get tickets. This is going to take some thinking. Let's get ourselves some coffee. We got a order sheet here, so let's try and find the frillish. For real? For real? You will take our orders. I'm getting coffee, Tim. Black natural. Got it. I will write that down. What should I have? For real? It says to write how much sugar you want. Now we just need to select the number of each drink. One of each, right? Once you got down, hand the order sheet to Frillish, yeah. Woo, much better. Sometimes the iced coffee is just a thing. Yeah, I've forgotten in all the excitement, but we haven't eaten anything since we snuck into the fat factory. Yeah, a detective's gotta be... Tough, but seriously, Ice-T, we're about to face off against Keith. You need to be more hard-boiled. Can I please just drink what I want? Keith sure has some nerve planning to smuggle art on a luxury cruise like this. Yeah, that hall has got to be hiding something. I mean, nobody's seen the show at all. I'm certain they carried art into the hall, but we need more information. I don't think talking to people is going to get us any any us anything new, though. We should meet up with Amelia. I agree. She might be done with her work. That's that, then. Let's head back to the lounge. Okay, heading back to the lounge. Hello? Is everything okay? 
Rose Milk Time. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I am glad a kind young man like you was close by. My name is Rose, Rose Milton. My name's Tim, and this is my partner, Pikachu. I used it for traveling. It had all my clothing and personal items. When was the last time you opened it? Just this morning before I got on the ship. And did you have the suitcase with you the whole time? No, I had checked it with the ship staff. Once I got on board, I collected it at the front desk. And Snubble, he helped carry it to my room. I wanted to get my favorite lap blanket out. But when I opened the suitcase, it had that mask inside. Where could my suitcase have gone? i never seen anything like it. It's rather unsettling. There must have been a mistake somewhere. The more I look at it, the stranger this mask seemed. Who could have brought a mask like this onto the ship? It's a gentle, sensitive darling. I think the mask gave it quite a scare. I'm really sorry my Pikachu got carried away. Oh, it's fine. We'd be friends with Snubble. You would be friends with Snubble, won't you, Pikachu? Of course. And no more pranks like that, okay? I'm sorry, okay? Believe it or not, I do feel bad. That's a strange mask. Is it antique or something? Does it really look that valuable to you? Seems like a piece of junk to me. The only thing in the suitcase was the mask. Yeah, nothing that might help us find the original owner. Must have been some slip up with the bag. Someone grabbed the wrong suitcase. I think so. Miss Milton, we should have one of the crew check around for your suitcase. I think it must have been actually swapped with someone else's. Yes, they're probably right. I will let the captain... You're probably right. I will let the captain know immediately. Wait, the captain? No, he's a friend of mine. I will go look for him. Here, let me come along, too. I will carry the suitcase. Oh, thank you, there. You will are kind. Maybe we should go to the lounge first. Right. Let's go. Roger Eckhart. Eckhart. an awful 
awful lot of strange things going on on this ship. Well then, Miss Rose, we hold on to the suitcase for now. We'll let you know as soon as we find out anything about it. Yes, please do. Thank you for your help too, Mr. Glitman. I will be at the bridge, so please stop by should you need anything. You know what a bridge is, right? It's where you control the ship. You can reach the bridge by the elevator in the second floor of the lounge. Well then, Mr. Graham, I see you again when we have our interview. Think I will head back to my room too. Thank you for everything, Tim. Please stop by if you have time. I would love your company. Hope you can find the suitcase for Miss Milton. Once I'm done my interview, I will try and help your investigation. Mr. Graham already given me permission. Thank you. Any luck with the investigation? Were you able to find out anything? Well, the thing is we found out that we can't find anything specific. What do you mean? There were a lot of people saying they couldn't get tickets. A uh, unnatural amount, really. What exactly was mentioned about it in the news you saw? They were saying it had been stolen from an art museum. I think it was about three months ago. It was a big deal since the mask is apparently very valuable. I wonder if that was the real thing. If it is, what is it doing here? Keith isn't the only bad guy out there. It's possible that the thief brought the mask here with the hope of selling it to someone. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Gina. You know Mr. Graham, correct? Yes, I had the pleasure of meeting him. I still can't believe a crime could be committed on an elegant ship like this. i never seen, even seen a mask like that, though. I wonder if it really was a stolen item. I know there's so much we don't know. Whatever it is, I'm glad the captain has it. He will keep it safe. And here is... Quite popular. I would like to see it myself, just to witness firsthand what draws so many people to it. Oh, uh, yeah. The Prime Treasure Shell. I don't know anything about it. Why not check with Captain Eckhart, though? The Captain should know everything that happens aboard the ship. That's a good idea. I will check with him. Let me know if you think it will make a good TV show. Does this guy ever let up? Still asking the captain is a good idea. Let's go upstairs to talk to the captain. Hey, there's a crew member. Let's ask where we can find the elevators. Right. Excuse me. Yes? Could you tell us where the elevators are? Oh, you can get to the bridge by using the elevators here in front of us. This floor has elevators on its left and right side, but either one will get you there. Thank you. Gonna talk to the captain, and then I'm probably going to end this off. Or I might do a little bit more. I see. Can I help you, Mr. Goodman? There's something I would like to ask you, and what might that be? Do you know anything about the Prime Treasure Show? We would love to know more about what kind of show it is, but we can't get tickets. Hmm. I'm really sorry, but I don't know much about the shows myself. Even though you're the captain, sorry to not be more help. All the shows are planned by the committee. What do you mean? You see, the ship is a little unusual. The passengers are actually the owners. All the rooms are privately owned, and everything from the vents on board to 
The next destination is decided by the committee run by the passengers. So the passengers have more power than the captain? So I don't know anything about what shows might be planned. All of that run, that's run by the committee, as I said. I see you. Well, thank you very much. We're still trying to find Miss Rose's suitcase. We're also in the process of modifying, notifying every department about the mask. I hope I, every suitcase ends up where it should be. Where are you keeping that suitcase now? In front of Nose Pass. Nose Pass seems to have taken a shine to it. Come to think of it, it seems like the owner of the suitcase is also interested in that show. When I had a good look for the suitcase, I found a strange note. What? Let's see, the prime treasure show. Iced tea, the usual frills, umbrellas, and yellow deck chairs. What does that even mean? Is it some kind of code? Those are some random words. I've written them down anywhere, though. Actually, Tim, there was something else besides the note. A ticket, I don't. No. What? It's a ticket for, though. No. Okay. Always facing north. Are you the captain's partner? Nose, nose. What's that? We should go in front of you if you want to talk. Nose, nose. He can only face north. Okay, you're a little weird, but we can move to be in front of you. Nose, nose backs. Nose. You love the mask inside. Oh, the captain put it in front of you when he noticed you were trying really hard to turn your head so he could see, huh? Nose pad. It made you that happy, huh? Well, that's good. Hold on a minute, Tim. There's still something we should look into. Yes? Mm. There's a ticket in there. Yeah, it doesn't say for what event, but it has today's state on it. I wonder what the ticket is for. Yeah. That was a bizarre note in the suitcase. Yeah, I wonder if it's related to the mask in some way. It could be some kind of secret code that lets you get into the show. We still don't know what kind of show it is, but we might be able to find out more if we follow what the note says. Huh? There was one thing on the note that we can start investigating immediately, right? I see, I think that's a little too order to really investigate. Come on, there's definitely something that would be easy for us to investigate. Exactly. We might be able to figure out the code on the note if we talk to the Frillish. Hopefully it will lead us to the show. Let's go find the Frillish and see what they can tell us. I'm going to talk to the Frillish and then I'm going to end this episode off. Oh, hey, Tim. Amelia, Mr. Graham. Welcome back. We were just talking about you. Did you find out anything about the show? Well, even the captain didn't know anything about it, but we did manage to get some new information. The suitcase had a note in it. A note? Yes, it had a few things wrong, right but one of the things was the prime treasure show. Oh, that's quite a scoop, Tim. A stolen mask and a mystery show. This whole suitcase incident... It's just full of surprises. 
He's totally praying to make it part of the program. Is that all he ever thinks about? So are you going to investigate what was in the note now? Yes, I'm going to try and find out more about what was written on it. And I will keep trying to find out more about this mysterious stuff. Oh, there's the frillish. Well, there's one. Frill. Frill? You don't know anything, huh? Well, thanks anyway. Frill. Frill. There are three other frillish around. In the hallway and on the deck. Got it. But you work the hardest. Wait, you feel bad for the ones in charge of the deck and hallway because there's not as much as for them to do. You really do love your job, don't you? So, there I told the four foolish home. Huh? We need to speak to all of them. Gonna talk to the other foolish. And then that's the end of this episode. This is a pretty long episode, but. I want to continue on a little bit longer. Because this chapter has gotten very interesting. Frill? Frill? I see, so you don't know what it means either. I don't think this is the usual frillish mentioned in the note. Let's go talk to the other ones. There's a frillish out here, but I don't know where the other frillish is. There's one more frillish after this, I believe, because there's four. This will be the third one. I think it's up on the top part of the deck. For real. You don't know, huh? For real. But you did run into a usual customer. What do you mean? For real. He was trying to place the order, something that wasn't on the menu, and he was so persistent you had to chase him away. An unusual customer. What was he trying to order? For real. You don't know. He said he wanted a book. Trying to order a book. Whoever it was making that Mr. Org could be the owner of the suitcase. It's worth looking to anyway. Hey, Phyllis, what was that guy like? For real. He was lying around as if he owned the place and he was he was blue. Maybe he was wearing blue clothing. Let's have a look around. Strange man. Was that the last Phyllis I need to talk to? Wait, no, there's one up here. For real? Oh, it says if you were ordering drinks to go order from the frillish on the first floor. I guess this one is handling some under, other kind of job here. For real? Doesn't ring a bell. Well, thanks anyway. For real? You don't have much time to speak with the other frillish. Sure looks like you have a lot of time to me. For real? Keeping still is part of your job. You need to be ready to go all out at a moment's notice. For real. It seems pretty proud of itself. Oh, uh, it looks all sharp and serious, too. What's the deal with this frillish? Hmm. Who's this guy? What can I do for you? You can get a good view of the fireworks for the carnival from here. They don't start until the evening, but I couldn't wait, so I came early. I was going to end this episode, but then I got distracted and wanted to talk to the other frillish up here. Well, 
find a spot that I can go through to save. A man wearing blue clothing. Do you think the man lying on the deck chair right there? Actually, let me talk to that man. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Hmm. Didn't you just order something unusual from Foolish? Oh, you saw that. How embarrassing. I was trying to order a book. Huh, you can order books on Foolish too? Well, I thought you could, but it looks like I was wrong. Foolish won't take my, wouldn't take my order. So I gave up in there. Why did you try to order a book from Frillish? This is actually my first time on the ship, and I'm just trying to blend in with the people around me. I saw someone getting a book from Frillish, so I figured that must be how all these high-class folks pass the time by the pool. Just thought I would give it a try, too. Do you know which Frillish was the one carrying that book? Huh, to be honest, all Frillish look the same to me. How about... Who received the book from the Phyllis? Oh, that I can tell you. It was that lady on the deck chair across from here. The one with the chinchina. Thank you very much. Right, let's go talk to that lady relaxing on the deck chair. Just making this a long episode. This chapter's too good to end. But I will end after I talk to this lady. Did I order a book from Frillish? No, ordering a book from Frillish. I have never heard of such a thing. Well, we spoke to someone who saw... I said I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps whoever you spoke to was mistaken about what they think they saw. Plain innocent, huh? I don't think we would get any answers out of her. But that doesn't mean we're out of options. Let's talk to the Chinchina. Did your partner receive a book from Frillish? Chinchina? She did, huh? I knew we could trust these Pokemon. Let's hear what they have to say. Right. Received the book. Which Frillish was it? Trina? The one with sharp features. Oh, the Frillish on the second floor. That's the one that brought the book, huh? Thanks. Sharp features. You didn't know? She needs to work on your observation skills if you want to be a detective. They all have different features. Do they really? The Phyllis on the second floor. Trina. Oh, the view was great from the second floor, so you went up there and got to look down from the edge of the second floor deck before your partner met with that Phyllis. Before she met with Phyllis, huh? That must mean something. Was your partner acting funny when she was looking down f from up there? Trina. You don't know, huh? You were just playing a game of counting everything down on... The first four with her, huh? Okay, thanks for the info. Well, if you've been enjoying this series, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Want to chat just for fun? Join my Discord. Link to my Discord be down below in the description. Don't forget to answer the comment question of the day down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time for an episode of Detective Pikachu. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,